Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. And today I want to share with you a new drop shot hook that I am absolutely in love with. You know if you watch the channel that I like to knock the drop shot. It is a great fish catching technique, but it causes a lot of headaches. You know, you're talking about a long tag leader that the weight goes to that can get tangled around everything. You're talking about a lot of line twists a lot of times, and I don't like the fact that the knot generally, the knot that you tie your hook on generally rubs between the eye of the hook and therefore can become a weak spot. I feel like you lose a lot of fish because your knot breaks because of that knot continuously being pulled towards your rod tip when you pull the rod, and when you let the bait fall back to the bottom, your weight pulls the knot right back through the hook eye, and therefore you get a lot of friction in that area and generally that can cause weak spots. I have broke off several fish over the years, especially when you're talking about big smallmouth bass on really light line at the knot. And that's what I attribute a lot of that to. Now this new hook solves that. It really does a great job at limiting the line twist. It, it prevents your, your knot from rubbing in between the hook eye. And at the same time, it does a great job at keeping your bait completely horizontal in the water. So from what I've seen so far, I'm in love with this. This is something that I wanted to share with you and do a review. You, you guys know I try to be as honest as I can with you. Sometimes the reviews aren't that good. Sometimes they're really good reviews. And in this case, this is a really good review. So I'm going to get into that. But before I do, I want to remind you guys that if you want to support the channel, Make sure you use my Tackle Warehouse affiliate link to purchase your tackle. Uh, you can bookmark that for future purchases as well. That link is in my video description. Also, if you're looking for a little bit of help on some local lakes, check out all of the lake breakdowns that I do with fishthemoment.com. I'll put the link in the video description as well. We provide 40 different waypoints for a specific time of season with a whole bunch of different patterns to point you in the right direction to have a successful outing on that lake. So check those out as well. Now, one bait you can throw almost anywhere across the country is a drop shot. And honestly, I'm doing this video because I'm starting to prep for my Potomac River event where I'm gonna have a drop shot tied on. And this is the hook that I'm tying on. Now, I'm gonna show you this hook and I'm gonna show you how to rig it, but I'm gonna do it with braided line first. And I'm doing it just with braid because it might be easier for you guys to see on video if I did it with fluorocarbon, which is what I would be using if I were rigging this up for the tournament itself, you would not see the knot at all uh, on the video. So we're gonna do it just with respect to uh, using it on braid. The hook itself is the Nishan Lure Works DS hook, the drop shot hook. and at first glance, you look at it and you say, well, there's nothing all that special about it. But really what they've done is they've taken a drop shot hook and they've put the 90 degree bend in it with a slight, I'm going to say a 45 degree hook eye bend. So you've got a little bit of an offset looking drop shot hook. But one thing to point out here is you've got what would be a uh, perpendicular uh, hook eye to the hook shank itself. So the hook eye is twisted. And the reason for all of this is because you have to tie a snell knot with this. So I've never heard anyone else talk about tying a snell knot with a drop shot hook. And I think it's because there's not a good drop shot hook out there to be used if you're using uh, more of a finesse approach. Like in this case, this is a size two. It's a great a great drop shot size in my mind, especially if you're nose hooking a bait, but it's a very, very cool hook. It does take a little bit of uh, getting used to tying a snell knot on a bent hook like that, but I do have a couple of tips for you. They also give you on the background or on the back of the package, they kind of give you the breakdown as to how to go about tying it. Now I gotta tell you, I tie a little bit of a different snell knot. It's not necessarily the traditional one, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. It really doesn't matter which snell knot you're tying. This tip should work just fine for you. But what you wanna do is hold your hook eye up. You're gonna run your line through it. Now remember, because it's a drop shot, you need a longer tag line. So if you're talking about having a foot long leader, you're gonna need at least a foot of tag line to put your drop shot weight onto. If you want three feet, you gotta make sure you leave enough of a tag 
to put a three feet leader on. Now, in this case, what I like to do with this is, so I'm gonna make, I went through it, I'm gonna make one more loop through the eye. And for me, it's much easier to tie a Snell knot if I've got a very short tag end. So what I like to do is I'll grab the main line and then I'm going to leave a big loop the size of the leader that I want. So in this case, this is probably a 12 inch to 14 inch leader. And the reason for that is I've got my little tag end sticking out. I'm gonna tie my Snell knot now. So what I'm gonna do is wrap it five times around the leader just like that. So I've gone five times around. Now I'm gonna pinch everything at the top and to get my leader, I'm just gonna pull my tag end tight. So when I've done that now, you can see hopefully the Snell knot is actually down at the shank of the hook. Now I'm just gonna pull up on my main line and you'll see what happened there is that Snell knot actually tightened up and slid up to the hook eye. But here's the kicker. So now I've got a drop shot hook that doesn't have a knot that will go through the hook eye and rub back and forth as I pull on my line. As you can see, the hook is basically in a parallel or horizontal fashion in the water. And because of the fact that I've got now the hook basically tied onto the line in a uh, below where your knot would normally be, it limits a lot of the line twist. So from this standpoint, to me, you've really just achieved like a perfect drop shot hook. This is something, you know, now that I've got core tackle, this is something I wish I had come up with because I'm absolutely in love with this idea. And I would much rather have a Snell knot here than have a traditional knot, regardless of whatever knot it is that you tie, that is being pulled back and forth as you use the drop shot through the day, which is weakening the knot. So this, 100% gets my approval, guys. They come uh, in a bunch of different sizes. I'll put the link for it, but you can see, I mean, you know, even with a worm in there out of the water, if you put, you know, a little bit of tension on that hook, which is what you're going to have, because you're going to have a weight beneath it, that hook still wants to stand out vertical. So in the water, that's only going to be uh, vertical even more because there's you're going to have the water supporting the bait. But it's something that I've had really good luck with. I've had great hookup percentage. I've had really good landing percentage. And I'm excited to continue to use this. I bought a whole pile of them at this point. Uh, they are in the boat. They are tournament ready to go equipment, meaning you know I've removed some of my old drop shot hooks to make room for these ones in the, in the boat for the tournaments. So I highly recommend it. This gets two thumbs up from me. The Nasheen Lure Works drop shot hook. This is a winner. If you guys like the drop shot, you might want to try this. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, not to mention, it is a laser sharp little hook, so you got to be careful with it. Hopefully, guys, you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscriber button. It's a great way to support the channel. And stay tuned. We'll have a new video coming out tomorrow for you.